All right, right now we are tracking Elsa as the outer bands continue to pound the Florida's west coast. The storm picking up strength overnight just after it passed over Florida Keys, sending waves crashing over seawalls and flooding some roads. The storm now looming near Tampa. We're taking a live look at the Naples area right now, a little bit further south where dark clouds are looming overhead. We've seen the heavy waves and the lightning off the coast. Right now over Georgia, where is 92 counties across middle and southeastern Georgia that are prepared for what's to come. We're going to take a look at uh, what we're expecting a little bit later on this afternoon as the storm begins to move through. Won't get in here until later on this afternoon and through tonight. It will move through our southwestern counties. Yeah, Chelsea, there was a lot of storm surge overnight. There was a lot of flooding as well down south. And I mean, you've lived in Georgia, I mean, in Florida rather. I've lived in Florida as well. And I mean, just seeing all of that is just alarming. Well, and, and I've reported through several hurricanes. Yeah. And even when they're low numbers or tropical storms, that's no joke. Yeah, yeah. it's no joke. Yeah, spin up tornadoes. That's what my buddy in Fort Myers is worried about. Yeah, we've seen some of those already this morning yeah. over central Florida. For us, it's going to be a very minimal impact. Okay. The storm will be far enough away from North Georgia and the metro area that we won't see much in the way of any winds or any uh, heavy rain here. We got light rain out there this morning, so if you're getting ready to leave the house right now, this is not a part of the, what's going on down in Florida. This is over us right now, very light rain. That will begin to move out. We'll be left with the clouds, and then later on this afternoon, we'll experience uh, a few of those scattered thunderstorms, which could drop some brief heavy rain on us, but not what we're going to experience over in our far southeastern counties. Right now, that storm uh, just to the north now, doing just to the north of the Tampa area, still offshore. We'll make landfall later on this morning. I'm thinking near the Cedar Key area, which is right about there. I zoomed in here, right about there, and it'll continue to make its way further off to the north and move into our state. I'm thinking it'll get here by, uh, we'll make landfall this morning and get here by this afternoon and into tonight. We'll continue to push through, move into South Carolina by, to, by tomorrow. Uh, again, our winds will start to pick up a little bit here toward uh, the southeastern counties. It's where we have a tropical storm warning that remains in effect. That's right along the coastline here. The very heavy rain will be experienced here as well, and some storm surge with that easterly flow that will be coming in. Our winds will remain light, at least over the metro area. So again, our Impacts here will be very, very minimal. Just those thunderstorms once we'll get from the afternoon.